today on Football Analyzed. This is part one of exploring the best player on every Premier League team. Before we jump into it, I ask that you like the video and subscribe to Football Analyzed because I'm going to be posting high quality football content over five times per week. Without any further ado, let's go. First up is Wolves and their best player is by far Pedro Neto. He, is he, has, he has beautiful dribbling ability coupled with wit, passing and a dangerous finish. Big clubs such as my own, Tottenham Hotspur, are looking to sign him. He comes with a pretty hefty price tag, but I think it'd be worth it. Pedro Neto is definitely Wolves' best player. Luton Town. It was between Carlton Morris and Ross Barkley for me, but Ross Barkley, he has the experience and the class that Luton Town needs to stay up this year. Without him, I could see them being pretty lost. If you watch Luton Town play, Ross Barkley, he is such a major factor. Definitely an underrated player this season. Manchester United, Bruno Fernandes, it was between him and Rashford, but Rashford, he's too hot and cold on and off for me, Bruno Fernandes, he is one of the stars of the Premier League, one of the best signings in, the world, in world football in the last six years is one, of, is one of my hot takes, he's such a class player, amazing dribbling, amazing passing, amazing shooting, amazing shooting, and he has actually racked up quite a fair bit of experience with the Reds, Crystal Palace, Elise. Elise is just a classic Palace talent. Fast, touch, tease, composure. A lot of big clubs are looking to sign him. He's worth 50 million and he's only 22. Michael Elise, for a 22 year old, he has got some real composure. Brighton, Pascal Gross. Pascal Gross, he's a bit of. I don't think he's. I think he's pretty underrated amongst Premier League players. He was selected for the Germany Euros team. He's so classy, so composed, and he is an absolutely amazing passer. You have to watch Pascal Gross play. My team, Tottenham Hotspur. Now, this is between James Madison, and but unfortunately, he just hasn't really played so well since coming back from his long-term injury. So it has to be Son Hyun, Son Hyun Ming. Best Asian player of all time. Definitely better than Park at this point. He has stepped up as captain a lot since Harry Kane le left. He's beautiful to watch, dribbling and shooting. He's one of the stars of the Premier League. Lots of experience, and he's definitely one of the players carrying us to hopefully a UEFA Champions League spot next this year. Sheffield United, the sinking ship of the Premier League. I mean, this one, I don't, I don't know. It was. I'm going to say Cameron Archer. Nothing special at all. But if he continues to slightly impress, he might be able to salvage. He might be able to jump onto a new ship before Sheffield United ship sinks right into a championship spot. Fulham. This was another tough one. But I'm going to say Jao Polina. Very solid. Very classy. Amazing technical ability. And another thing I want to mention, he's so coordinated. The solid CDM from Portugal. For Fulham, he's really like... He's a real foundation of the team. They build up a lot through him at the back. And... Without Jao Paulinho, I think that if he was to get injured, Fulham, it would have the biggest impact on Fulham. Chelsea, Cole Palmer, easy. One of my favourite players to watch. I love the boy. He's a city reject. He got revenge on them quite quickly. He has quickly become one of the best players in the Premier League. So beautiful to watch. So technically gifted. Passing, finishing, dribbling through the roof. One of the biggest Premier League prospects in a long time. Lastly, for this video, Bournemouth. This is pretty easy as well. Dominic Solanke, absolutely clinical finisher, stands out really heavily at Bournemouth. And I have to be honest, he is definitely the main reason for their pretty decent season so far. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to Football Analyze for high quality football content posted over five times per week. And I'll see you guys in the next one.